Right guys, apologies for the wind noise, but for those of you who may have been wondering or looking for the uh, the video with the older controller fitted to the new motor, this is that. So now, with any luck, that's going to tell us what the current is with this. Uh, with this controller. Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how much of that was intelligible. Most of it was Terror, I think, as I was trying to ride along with one hand, holding the camera with the other, while pointing it at the uh, ammeter. But yeah, yeah, that was a bit different. Um, the ammeter was reading forty-one amps. The uh, voltmeter on the handlebar there was reading forty-five amps. I need to do the math to figure out what that is, but I think it's. Probably somewhere around about two thousand watts. So that was that was good. Unfortunately, I had a stone <laughs> and had a blowout as I was coming down the lane, and almost uh, yeah, that, that that nearly ended in tears. But wow, that was fun. So looks like the fifteen hundred watt controller, which is now in this box, is now consigned to the. Uh, Let's play with that and see what see what we can do to upgrade it. Bin, and this one is uh, going to be staying there for now. So yeah, that was great. That's uh, that was a lot of fun and uh, kind of hairy, but well, we'll see what let's we'll see what more damage we can do. I'm not worried about the motor because um, this motor was giving me. Well, I, I did about four miles on it with it recently. Uh, flat out most of the way, not pedaling at all. So I was putting whatever amps it was, 30 odd amps into it, 1500 watts, 1600 watts into the motor <clears throat> at the time. And after, like I said, two or three miles or four miles, I stopped and put my hands on it and it was stone cold. There was no heat at all in the motor. So it may be labeled as 1500 watts. 1500 watts, but I suspect it'll handle a hell of a lot more than that. Um, one of my YouTube followers mentioned that this thing should be able to handle anything up to between 5 and 10 kilowatts. Uh, don't know about that, but it can certainly handle uh, 1600 without a sweat. So, um, yeah, that'll probably get, that'll probably see 5 kilowatts before I'm finished, but at the minute, 45 amps, 41, vo uh, 40 vo 41 amps, 45 volts, because the, the voltage side, the batteries aren't fully charged at the minute, so the voltage side was down to uh, 45 volts. Uh, that's what that got. Like I say, I haven't done the mass, but that's around about 2 kilowatt, give or take. So, yeah, um, I might put up in the video which is what that is because my, my mental arithmetic is horrible. But anyway, yes, that's a lot of fun. And uh we'll have to we'll have to see what, what we can get up to from this. But for now, that's it, and uh bye for now. Right, well, I'm just back from a spin on this uh bike with the the bigger controller. And OMG, <laughs> it's a fly machine. The fastest speed I got to was about 38 miles per hour. And the voltage at that, uh, when I was going flat out, was 47.5 or thereabouts volts. Um, so the voltage sag went from 53 down to 47, around about 6 volts. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad or what, but um, that's kind of giving me a, a, a 
wattage of around about 1950 watts at 41 amps. So it's an absolute blooming flying machine. Ah, so yeah, probably um, not the easiest thing in the world to control. The throttle tends to be a bit, uh, you sort of, you get to a wee bit and then it kicks in and you do a wee bit more and it, you're flat out and so you don't get the full range of the throttle. Uh, so that would be nice if we could control that a bit better. Um, but wow, absolute fly machine. <laughs> that is some fun. And kind of hairy when you're doing 38 miles an hour on a, a mountain bike with uh, suspension front and back. But what a lot of fun. Yeah, that's good, good crack. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do next, but uh, I think I'll maybe try and get this buttoned up a bit better and get it looking a bit better and uh, maybe try and make some sort of a cover for it, for the side. Uh, protection for the battery because it's a wee bit exposed at the minute. And if I can get the control a little bit better. It'd be nice to be able to get the cadence sensor working properly. Um, I don't know if I said in the last video or not, but the cadence sensor is completely hopeless. Um, just doesn't work at all. It, well, it works. You pedal about three or four times and then it kicks in and the bike is going flat out. And there's no control of the speed whatsoever. Uh, there's with the other controller, uh, well, the, this this controller doesn't even have a cadence sensor uh, on it, so it would be nice to uh, try and create some sort of a, a controller that uses this, maybe using an Arduino or something like that. That's a possibility for the future. Um, that might be nice. So I could use it as a bicycle. At the minute, it's really a motorbike. Um, you can pedal. There's no way you can keep up with it, though. Even in top gear, seventh gear, I just could not keep up with it. I was doing 30 odd miles per hour. So it'd be nice to be able to set it up so that it could be used with a cadence sensor. Um, so that when you start to pedal, it will go up to a certain speed and will just stay at that speed regardless of how hard you pedal. Um, and have that adjustable with maybe 10 or 11 uh, settings on it. So that's that's something for the future um i had been talking about changing this uh putting it into a bigger frame i'm not even sure i'm going to do that now we'll see i might i haven't decided um certainly it would be it'd be easier to get all of this stuff tidied up if it was in a bigger frame but we'll see uh for now it's going really really well uh the motor is great. The controller that was sent with it is okay. The throttle with this sort of, I don't know if you can see it there, but it just gives you levels of uh, power. Pretty well hopeless. The button works. That's the on-off button. And the, the brake handles with the uh, switches in them, they work. It all works. It's just very, very low quality, which, hey, it was a cheap, cheap kit, so it's what you expect. But with this with this motor, uh, controller, that motor just comes alive. And after doing three or four miles, pretty well flat out, very slightly warm. Yeah, it's kind of warm. It's certainly not hot. Certainly not hot. The controller, warm, barely warm at all. Batteries, uh, I can feel some heat, but they're quite insulated, so it's probably difficult to tell with them. But it's a hell of a lot of fun, that's for sure. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, the this motor from Walmart, supposedly 1500 watts I was putting 2000 watts into it no trouble at all it was uh, was working and is not hot and yeah absolutely brilliant love it uh, just need a bit more control now
But anyway, it's good fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.